You Dinobots are freaking awesome! Uh, guys, why are you so quiet? Come on, speak to me, guys. Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me. Damn you, Michael What up, big kids? Here's your big review of Transformers Age of Extinction. I will talk the non-spoilers, and then when I get to the spoilers, I'll tell you guys where to stop watching the video if you haven't watched it. So let's talk about non-spoilers. Wow, this movie was long. Seriously, this movie, the last Transformers movie, Dark Moon, was long. And I want to throw out there, this I like long movies, especially Sean Long movies now. But seriously, I. I like long movies if they're done right. You know, Peter Jackson does long movies. The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises for long movies. I don't mind it as long as the, the story and pacing and everything is good. And this one had could easily have cut out 30 to uh, even an hour out of this movie. Uh, I understand with these movies you have to um, cater to the human audience and have human actors. I'm cool with that. Humans have always been part of the Transformers for the most part. Except for Beast Wars, but they kind of had cavemen. Anyway, um, but yeah, this, uh, I, I just felt like, okay, well, okay, let's get to the cast. Mark Wahlberg, he's awesome action star. I like the guy a lot. Um, and with Nicole Peltz, Nicola Peltz, who was in the awful last Airbender movie, and she's hot, not Megan Fox or uh, Rosie uh, Whiteley, whatever, who played Carly, hot. But yeah, she's, uh, she's like, eh. Uh, like for acting, like the whole father-daughter relationship, uh, we get it, Mark, Marky, Mark, you love your daughter, yeah, it's like you wanted to, to feel it, feel it with that, your love for your daughter, but yeah, they, they just pounded that to the ground. Jack Rayner as Shane Dyson as the race car driver guy, their relationship, he said stuff, it's like, dude, are you stupid, why would you say that in front of your, your girlfriend's father, especially when he's Marky Mark, I swear. Stanley Tutu was great. Uh, he was really good at playing like a villain, and then he kind of like became the John Turturro character, kind of the the whatever like comic relief. But he was funny. He's I, I definitely preferred him over John Turturro's character because I couldn't stand him after the second movie. John Turturro's character, Kelsey Grammer was awesome. I love him, and yeah, he was just such a great villain in this one, and uh, yeah, so. For the, uh, and Peter Cullen returning as Optimus Prime was awesome. He's the best, even though his Prime, I talked to Sharmus Prime. And big up to Sharmus Prime, because I saw this movie last night uh, early, thanks to him, and I got to see it with, with um, my fiance Natalie, and I got to see it with Century Productions, Charlita One, um, I got to see it with my buddy Chu, and uh, Gordotron, uh, Sharmus' brother, and so many people, uh, Nina's sister, and I mean Charlita's sister. So, um, Anyway, uh, it's got to see with so many people. Oh, and Eric and um, uh, and Clayton and, and um, Roberto. Okay. Anyway, but so um, big up to Sharmus Prime. Subscribe to him, and his review is up to you of this movie. Uh, so, I was Optimus Prime is very frightening. He's just like what? I swear, is Optimus Prime a Mortal Kombat character? I swear, or you just uh, when you get a face off in Optimus Prime, you get a face off. I swear. But I'll get more into that in the spoiler section. So, uh, Mark Ryan as Lockdown. I love Lockdown. I love them in Transformers Animated. And I was really happy to see him in this movie. And he was a pretty good villain. I really liked him a lot. And, um, and then Galvatron. Frank Wilker voice in Galvatron. Awesome. I love Frank Wilker. Could have been, had more Galvatron. And um, Crosshairs was cool. John DiMaggio's Crosshairs. He was, he was pretty... Uh, he was like one of those characters. He was kind of like a mixture of the Wreckers and and um, and like Sideswipe, you know that kind of character. And then um, John Goodman as Hound, perfect. He was just awesome. I love Hound. He was more like a bulkhead than the Hound to me, but it's not like they got in any most of the G one characters, right? Bumblebee once again is talking the radio. Can Bumblebee freaking talk? And speaking of which, Dinobots, they were freaking awesome in the movie. But there could have been way more Dinobots. And speaking of, speaking of Dinobots, they could have been speaking. But I'll get into that in the spoiler section. Anyway, um, the action was amazing. There was some awesome action sequence, especially with the Dinobots. Uh, there were some great uh, 
spaceship type battle. I also got to see this movie in IMAX 3D and even Michael Bay said it's the best way to see it and it definitely is. It looks freaking amazing in IMAX 3D. Um, CGI is really good but there's a thing with the way the Decepticons transform that's weird. I don't know. It's like someone, I forgot who I said, it sounded like a screensaver or something. Yeah. It's very weird. It's not the traditional transforming way. I prefer just how they've been doing it in the movies before, but the way that they transform, it kind of looks like, yeah, it just like looks really weird to me. It's like cool, but kind of like, eh, I, I didn't dig it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the action is awesome. The plot is just pretty much same thing we've been getting from these movies. Just like some villain wants to destroy Earth and with an army. Nothing new here, really. Just a different, if it's not the Allspark, if it's not, you know, the Matrix, which, you know, it's it just, it's always something like just a, the seed, as it's called. And yeah, so that um, overall action was awesome. Cast did pretty good. Uh, the story and, and um, yeah, the action, but the, it was really long. So let's get into the spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie or you don't care about knowing, then you've been warned. Here's the spoilers. Okay. We knew from the trailer some characters were going to die. Uh, there is a human character, which, you know, I forget his name. He played uh, T.J. Miller's character, and he was pretty funny. He's like not like obnoxious, he's not as bad as like some other Michael Bay Transformer human actors, but um, we knew from the trailer some Transformers were gonna die, or at least uh, only one, really one died of of, uh, of the original five that came from the first movie in Ratchet. He dies brutally, I was like, damn man, that was like, aww. But um, yeah, like with his death, I mean, his death wasn't as bad I mean, it was bad, but it was, but like what I was saying about Optimus Prime, we don't have a face off. Holy crap! The way not only does Optimus Prime take out Lockdown in a very once again Mortal Kombat like slicing his face way fatality. I literally said that to Natalie when, when we were watching the movie. But he, um, you know, he shoots Kelsey Grammer. He even says in the movie that he would never harm a human, but if they do, it he. Optimus Prime just seems fed up. It's like, God freaking damn it. I'm like, I help these humans, like, save their lives, like, three times at least. I mean, not counting, like, the comics and all that stuff in between. What do they do? They just hunt me down, blah, blah, blah. And he just, I, it doesn't seem like he likes any humans anymore. And, you know, he just, like, is pissed. And Optimus Prime is just freaking scary. It's not, like, the Prime that I grew up loving. It's like, he's... I love the Peter Collins voice in it, but it's just like, damn, he's he's scary. And um, make it a, a Galvatron. Like I said, I love that Frank Welker is Galvatron, and I'm glad he, he I'm glad he did survive because you can't kill. I, I I hated in Dark of the Moon that Starscream and Megatron and all these. They pre I thought they were just like done and they were going to reboot it, but now since they're continuing the same universe, I'm glad that they set up for a sequel with Galvatron and hopefully. I, I said this one had Dinobots, and I'm going to get to you a big Dinobots spoiler thing. Um, but if this one has Dinobots, they should have City Transformers. Like, get Metroplex and Trypticon, because that would be amazing. That would be like a Godzilla Pacific Rim, like Kaiju, like giant Jaeger fight with City Transformers. Then the, next, the, the sixth one should have Unicron. And Galvatron is in it's uh, coming, so hopefully they'll have some Unicron. And they pretty much made... Galvatron, like a report of Megatron. I love that Frank Walker. And he was doing his Megatron voice, which I love because I never liked his Galvatron voice. I love you, Frank Walker, but that, oh, Cyclone is. It's like, eh, I'd rather have this voice. You know, that's way better. Now, the Dinobots, they were freaking badass, but uh, they didn't freaking talk. We even to get a, me Grimlock, you know, it's like, come on. You know, I, I kind of hated that in the anime. They didn't make, you know, Snarl and, and Swoop talk, but at least Grimlock got to talk, and 
No, no one thing. It's like, I feel like freaking Michael Bay spent so much on special effects and explosions, he can't hire voice actors because like Bumblebee and freaking the Dinobots can't talk. And there was no Snarl, or no uh, Slash. Like, Slash is here. It's like, he's not in the movie, guys. I'm sorry. And these four that you see right here are the, like Strafe. And th there's no explanation in why he has two heads. There's, there's no reason for it. And yeah, the Dinobots, I feel, were so shoehorned in. It's like they kind of explain how Dinobots, but they were just on a ship. I'm like, what the hell? And I was just so disappointed that they took us like freaking like two, two hours before we got to them. And uh, that really frustrated me. Like, I, I'll just say this. I mean, so, yeah, with all that, um, I, I enjoyed the movie, but I was just really disappointed, especially because I love the Dinobots so freaking much. And it's just like, yeah. So with that said, I give Transformers Age of Extinction a 3.5 out of 5. It's like, I, 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 I liked it definitely better than other Transformer films. And I think overall, uh, giving us Transformers, they, uh, they gave us the most out of, out of them. But it's still like, it, it still was way too long. And the story and everything is just, uh, but I, I say go see it in theaters, go see it in the especially if you're Transformer fans. If you're not a fan of the Michael Bay Transformer movies, this won't sway you. So, uh, check out Red Propel for cool shirts like this. Thanks again to my buddy Charmus Prime. Prime. Oh, I got this free how to for seeing the movie. And check out more at uh, SeanXLong.com, TFormers.com, and I'm Sean Long. Remember, live long and love life. Can't have a Michael Bay Transformers review without explosions, so cue up the explosions! Now we just need a hot chick to run around in slow motion. Me Grimlock like hot chicks and explosions! Shut up Grimlock, you didn't even talk in the movie. Oh. He is an unstoppable creature that will bring balance, and we must let him fight. We call him Godzilla. Me Grimlock not Godzilla, me